Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Okay, so the topic for today is the detailing in Revit. Okay, so before we go straight to the tutorial, I would like to ask to everyone, please consider to like, share, and subscribe, and please uh, view every part of this video. So everyone updated once I make a video tutorial like this okay so this uh template that uh, i use in this tutorial is related to my newest video in this channel okay so if you want to start from the beginning just go into my playlist so you can follow it all of the steps that i did in every part of the tutorial okay so first thing i will do is to go into the section that uh, i made made before okay so now what i'm going to do here is give or create more details in this uh, left side of this uh, cross section okay so to do that one go to a view and here i just choose the rectangle and make sure that you're in wall section okay so now i just simply place it here a one wall section and i just simply drag it all the way outside like this Okay, so this is the first step. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is to double click this one. Okay. So if you go here in the project browser, you see this added one section here. So I rename it this into typical detail okay so I'll typical okay so now once you have this okay set this into fine okay so here we encountered some problem here, okay, because we cannot uh, get the uh, other details that very important, okay, that showing uh, as uh, detail here, okay. So how can I get this one to place it here, okay? So we cannot redraw it again and consuming a time to uh, do okay so this is the tip that i will uh, give to each and every one okay but before that i will just simply right click this and i just simply hide it this one okay so and arrange it this including this one okay so now i just simply go into the section i use or i will do it all this one okay filter and here i will check none okay details okay insulation batting line and the line thin lines okay apply and hit okay so now i just use the copy and go into typical detail okay and control b here okay so how you can place it okay you can go in here and you can eyeball it like 
and place it like that. Okay. And now, you zoom in and you can use your arrow keyboard here to align. Okay. And hit finish. Okay. So, this is the one already. You get all the information from the previous cross section that I made. Okay. So, that is the tips there. Okay. And before uh, we continue, okay, I just simply explain it first, this one, okay. This field region line, okay, you can double clip it or uh, select it and double click, hit the tab, okay. Select and make sure that your and medium lines, okay, because for the for plotting purposes, okay, this is the thin line of all detail. Okay, so that is the tips. So if you see there is a, it's more clear. Okay. So now we start to place a detailing, okay, or to start detailing here. But before that, I need to flip it this, okay, all of this one. Okay. I want all this uh, level in this uh, left side. So uncheck it this side and check this. Okay. So now here you can arrange it but in in this part i don't need this one but don't delete okay you just hide only because if you delete you affect uh, it will affected it will affect into your uh, previous cross section okay you just simply hide only okay so she's done already and i just simply move it this uh, crap Okay, so now we start to uh, detailing. Okay, so I just simply hide also this one, tag, room tag, select this and put it here. Okay, so now we start uh, to place the call outs or detailing here okay so now I go to insert and I just load the break line okay that is the first one so I just go into my Revit okay go to libraries US metric and here detail items okay break line okay and once you load that one okay go to annotate component detail component and hit uh, the space okay like this and hold the control shape to copy it down okay underneath okay Make sure that in line into the top one, and you can adjust it by pressing the arrow key and drag, press and drag the arrow key. Okay, okay. So now, once you have this, okay, you need to adjust first this one, okay. And now I simply go into a region, field region, rectangle, medium lines, and go here to edit type, duplicate, 
and now here you can change it into vertical 1.5 hatch okay and hit finish okay is representing the pre molded joint pillar sealant okay and here you can adjust it first all this one okay including this let's say this is 55 okay 55 55 okay and now dl for detail line shortcut medium line and draw a line here okay so we are giving the details okay so now we start placing a call out or text so to do that one i use this i go to annotate okay annotate and go to text okay and i just start now to placing a text here so this is for concrete sidewalk okay concrete sidewalk drag it 
the way up and now we single ply okay let's say single ply ep dm group membrane i hope that i spell right okay on rigid insulation okay so now you can select this okay and hide element okay so this is the one already this is our uh, detail so now we need to place a make a dimension for this one okay so to do that one di for the shortcut okay and dimension it uh, like this okay and one this uh, overhaul height information okay so this is the detail okay so this is my typical detail okay i hope that everyone can follow okay so we need to add more details okay more and more details for the installation information okay very very important to all uh, the drawings okay not only for the floor plan including the typical details okay so one and two detail more okay for the other information to the layout so i hope that everyone can follow the step that i made in this uh, tutorial please don't forget to like share or subscribe and again see you in the next part of this video for more detail detailing in revit okay so thank you for watching see you again in my next video